hi just before i start this video i'm doing these giveaways so this is the beauty bundle giveaway that i did last week i think it was um and i've just done the online um generator um for the winner and the winner is betty rage 192 so if you could send me an email and i will get all of this sent out to you the other giveaways as well that i am due to send i haven't forgotten so um the previous two giveaways it's just because the, when i was supposed to send them i just didn't get around to it like having you know like just with everything like going away with the kids and stuff i just never got around to it but everything is being sent tomorrow so everything you should get it all um pretty soon i'm gonna try and um, do it with every next day delivery so yeah why am i out of breath i don't know but yeah that's betty rage 192 um if you could send me an email and whatnot and i'll get it sent out and then listen oh, i tried to make it look really pretty with all me bits and bobs and it's just turned to shit i need to get it off the bed steve won't be very happy about all the shit that is on the bed at the minute all of this it gets everywhere but um this is the second um bundle that i'd like to do a giveaway on so yeah all of these little bits here there's like masks um this which um is like a face scrubber it's got a few like little settings and stuff fluffy socks false nails there is a dog hair in that or one of mine i will get it out before i send <laughs> don't worry um some lashes um highlighting palette a um normal nails a lipstick from primark body scrub wonder kiss lip gloss um makeup brush you know all them just little bits like that so yeah this is the next giveaway um i have still got the toy bundle which um i'll do in a couple of days but um yeah if you just put done um at the end of your comment if you would like to enter this beauty bundle giveaway um i'd really appreciate it if you you know was get your hands out subscribe to my channel um like this video and whatnot you know i'd really appreciate it but um yeah that is the second beauty bundle giveaway so yeah anyway on with the video i am obsessed with this just in my makeup bag so i thought i'd have a spritz but um yeah hope you're all right happy tuesday it is tuesday i've just had to take my car in the garage because i was driving home do you remember i told you so the other day when we got back um from disneyland let me change this song it's a bit loud a bit of the arctic monkeys you know some songs like are just proper loud and then some are like um yeah you know what I mean? Yeah, when we got back, like the car was dead stiff. And I thought it's because it's been sat for a while, you know, but eventually got going, you know, we were fucking sat there ages trying to get it all warmed up and stuff, you know, loosen the old cogs. And yeah, it got going and it was fine. Drove home, bish bash bash, bash with them, no, no, <laughs> happy as anything. It's just not been right. So I thought obviously with the weather, you know, not taking no risks because my kids are in the car every single day, you know, not taking any risks so it's in the garage i'm hoping i'm hoping he can get it done you know he said he'll have a look and stuff and he reckons um because the handbrake's just playing up a little bit he reckons like one of the brakes because the brake was hot he said so like it's sticking to the tire i don't know it's in it's in so yeah i'm just waiting for a phone call but yeah i ate it all right i ate the weather but walking back from the garage it is so picturesque the trees are just white and it's not snow it's frost and it's just stunning honestly it is so pretty like i just walking looking at it like wow you know the absolute like simple things of just looking at a white icy tree it was amazing all the cobwebs in the back garden you know all froze over and it just looks stunning honestly it's so nice but um yeah anyway i um i'm gonna show you a few bits that i picked up in disneyland paris so Oh, it's heavy because I've got bottles of water in the bottom. So, yeah, it feels a lot heavier than it actually is. These are just a few bits um, from the Disney shop. So I said to the kids, you know, you can pick something on the last day. I said, you know, here's some money. You can, like, pick a few bits, you know. Like a little souvenir of your little trip away and stuff. So, yeah, I'm just going to show you a few bits. Steve got um, something and I got a little something as well. Excuse me. Um, Just, you know, to put it out there, this isn't... A braggy video like i'm not sat here like oh look at all this you know it's not that kind of thing i've got a bit of indigestion but yeah like i'm not like that I'm just you know like any of the 
can't get words out any of the vlogs like the reveal video the actual vlog itself of disney and stuff i'm just sharing with you you know like parts of you know what we're doing what i'm up to and stuff in life you know i upload every day and i just wanted to share with you like you know do you know what i mean so yeah it's just not i'm not like that scroll on sort of thing you know if you haven't got anything nice to say you know but um yeah i'm just sharing you know bits and bobs of you know what we're doing and stuff so anyway i'll show you all the bits and bobs it was a really magical place you know i've not really been into disney since i was a lot younger lion king is amazing for me i like pocahontas and i like lion king you know it's i just love them and um but obviously you know as you get older for me i felt like you know do you know what i mean like it was more of a kids thing it's not at all it is not at all the amount of adults that were there loving it and it was so nice to see you know but when i walked like like to see the castle and stuff and all the decorations and all the characters and everything is just disney themed i felt very emotional i cried at that disney show so there's a show called mickey and the magician and it was insane so i've been reading about um you know disney and stuff for a while and reading forums and people's tips and tricks and stuff and they said mickey and the magician is a must so i went and watched it and it was incredible let me tell you i cried so there was all kinds of like disney themes on it but when the lion king came on i just cried i couldn't stop crying like i felt really emotional and it was yeah like completely fought my makeup up for the rest of the day but it was amazing you know and i'd say queue times are insane so the first ride the first day the first day we went was crazy i felt like it was not wasted but not very productive as in like i i should have planned it so that night me and steve sat down when the kids went to sleep um the second night well the first night but for the second day we wrote a bit of a list you know and we planned okay because you get a magic hour so when you stay on a disney site you get a magic hour so it was eight till nine and we'd wasted the first one just walking around like ah, uh, you know but actually it's amazing to get lots of rides in because the queues go to like 90 minutes 120 minutes and it's just insane but yeah the second day like the first day was kind of it was amazing but it wasn't very productive whereas um excuse me the second day we planned a lot and we used the magic hour and we got a lot done so you can get all of the main ones that have got big queues done twice over you know i'm really sorry i'm not an animal all right i just i don't know why but i feel very a bit of indigestion a bit a bit gassy a bit burper i can't help it i am very sorry it just so happens while i'm filming this fucking video to <laughs> eat burping away but i'm trying to be like you know what i mean like i'm trying to oh yeah don't matter but um yeah it was really nice and um yeah the second day was like so much more magical than the first day but the parade when i seen the parade like i just i couldn't believe it i couldn't believe it honestly and the kids they were they were like oh, do you know what tyler said to me this morning do you know what he said to me and i just I couldn't believe it. I gave him a massive hug. Yeah, he said to me, "Do you know what? Because we've been Disney, can I just have a metal detector and some chocolate, please, for Christmas?" Like I love Disney. This is what he was saying, and he was like, "That's our present. Is that our present?" You know, and it was just really. Do you know what I mean? Like they they were so well behaved. Like they're really well behaved anyway. Obviously, there were moments where I was like, "Boys, you need to pack it in now." You know, can we just stop? Can you, do you know what I mean? Just chill out because they were getting i mean to be fair there's a lot of steps for adults you know the walking was crazy so i can only imagine for kids but yeah we went with magic breaks but the coach company because i've had a few questions about it because people wanted to book for next year we booked through magic breaks but the coach company was goldcrest and i can't fault it honestly the only thing i would say so obviously it's a lot of traveling you know but be prepared you know snacks there's, there's charges on board and stuff type of thing it was amazing you know the service was brilliant two very friendly drivers you know you can have a go to the toilet but the only thing is that i didn't like is you can only go for a wee and there was a lot of little kids crying i'm talking toddlers parents really trying to like soothe their kids because they need the toilet for a number two and you couldn't go because it was not a chemical based toilet so there was a lot of kids i mean you stop at services every so often you stop you can go out and get some food toilet chill out you know stretch your legs which was really nice the ferry was nice 
you know and they're very, they keep you updated with everything and they tell you where we are and stuff so it was, I definitely would use them again definitely 100% I love coach trips I love just sightseeing Steve finds it a bit long winded but after this he said he'd like do it again so yeah you know with um, like magic breaks you get everything all included so you travel we were picked up from a pickup point I literally just drove the car um, and then we were picked up by a taxi another family hopped in and then we were taken to the main coach and then the main coach was full you got like seat numbers and stuff but it was full and um, they pick up like all over the country and then you go to Dover which <laughs> I was like wow the white cliffs honestly it was just yeah just stunning but overall I'd use them again you know you get everything so with magic breaks you get your taxi your coach your ferry Disney on site don't know what happened there um, so there's a few Disney hotels we stayed at Santa Fe um, and your tickets and then, you know, you picked up the next day. Well, after you stay, they do like four, three, two nights. I was looking last night and they've actually got, all right, £219. I think it's three nights in January or February. I can't remember without looking. For three nights, £219 per person. You know, that's everything all included. Your coach, your, your Disney hotel and your tickets. So that was, you know, obviously it might change, you know, if you look now it might change, it might be gone and stuff, but because I originally looked for Hotel Cheyenne on the thing and it sold out, and that was for four nights, so we did the, what was left on the coach because it was full, and they sell out quite quick, and um, was Santa Fe for three nights, but I won't change it, it was amazing. So yeah, next time, if we do go, you know, I'd love to stay at Cheyenne because that's a Toy Story one and the kids love Toy Story, so, but yeah, anyway, right, sorry for chatting away, you know, I was just right so tyler picked um this teddy up so he loved the mickey the magician show tyler has now decided he'd like to collect disney plushes so yeah he's already got the one that i got him for like the reveal bag and then you know that was um what he picked and then steve got this so this is like all the marvel figures so yeah we've seen some of the marvel characters um Loki and Thor and they were like having a bit of a you know putting on a bit of a show and stuff so yeah there's a lot of cues for like meet and greets but if you spot a character like wandering around the park and stuff you're like oh can I have a photo they do photo pass as well we didn't go for that because you can take photos on your phone for me I mean some people it's worth it there's a lot of people that use photo pass but to be honest the park was rammed absolutely rammed and the cues to have a photo with the characters are just unreal like it was rammed you know and do you know what I mean? So I just, whenever I could, just on my phone, take loads of photos and stuff. Mason wanted one of these. You could make your own. You could make your own, um, all the parts and stuff. But he decided to go with this one, a ready packaged one, because some of the parts, because so many people had touched them, because all the parts are out, you know, so one of the clips for one of them, like, was not fitting very well, because there's so many people, like, making them, then putting them back and stuff. So yeah, you could have made your own, but he was like, I just want one of these ones. So yeah, he got this um, Star Wars Kylo Ren lightsaber. So he got that. Got loads of bottles of water. This is what I picked. So this um, is a little Disney, it's a little Mickey Mouse ring. It's an extendable one as well. I did originally try it on and it didn't fit, but then it like is extendable. So that's a little Mickey Mouse um, ring. They had loads of jewellery and stuff. I, yeah, I was like, oh, you know. Um, got this. So this is a Disneyland Paris Toy Story snow globe, snow dome. So we got that. And then the kids picked these um, mints, I think they are. Let me pick these mints. I think that's what they are, mints. They're at the till. I think so. And then... Um, Tyler grabbed these as well so we had a bet with them because some of the rides are very scary looking you know for the kids and there was a couple of times we'd got to the gate and one of the kids decided nope this ain't for me you know Mason was even in tears one day he was like I don't want to be a baby I want to go and it was crying because he was scared because he didn't want to go on it and I said Mason you don't have to do anything you don't want to do it's fine chill get the fear out of you you don't have to do it forget it you know get it out of your head 
all right, you haven't got to do it. And then after that, it was fine. We all went on the Tower of Terror, which is crazy. It just drops. It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, yeah, there was a few times, um, you know, they didn't want to like go on the ride and stuff. But the kids said, you know, 20 quid and we'll go on it. So it was like, yeah, fine. I was always going to give them spending money. But it was like, yeah, deal. All right. We knew they'd back out. Do you know what I mean? Like on some of them. And, um, yeah, like, we, when it comes to, I think it's the RC racer it is. It like, goes like that. And um, it got to that and they were like, nope, we're not doing it. And they were like, oh, well, missed out sort of thing. I was like, no, you, you know, you still have your 20 quid. You're spending money and stuff. And, yeah, just a bit of bit of banter you know anyway don't really know where i went with that but um yeah tyler picked these so there's loads of adults with these as well just walking around like, with the mickey hands it was a really nice atmosphere and then we got this um popcorn it's a money box as well so we got this um and it says best day ever and the reason i got this is because we're gonna save kids are gonna put some pound coins in it or whatever change um for spending money for the next time we go um and it's the best day of art and the kids kept going this is the best day of art and i just felt like it was really fitting so yeah we're gonna have a movie night have some popcorn and then open that little whole bit up there and you know safe so yeah some spending money a nice bit of incentive and you know and then that's it this is from the duty free which steve got which was diesel only the Brave on the Ferris, so he grabbed that. I couldn't find a perfume that I liked. Tyler found an aftershave, but they didn't have a bottle. They just had the test on. We couldn't get it, so, yeah, it was... I can't remember what the one he liked was, but, um, yeah, I love that. That's it, that's the end of the video. Um, as always, my friends, don't any dickheads get you down. You're fucking amazing. All right, know your worth. I love y'all, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.